In this lab, we're going to cover network forensics with PCAP analysis. So first, we'll co copy over the lab folder to the C drive. Inside the folder, we have a uh, Wireshark, a network miner, and some evidence files. I already have Wireshark installed, so I'm not going to install it. Go ahead and extract the network miner while we're here. So the first one we'll look at is the Evidence 01. And we'll look at the HTML. This is the scenario. So it says she arrived at her destination and was ready to begin her next assignment. She wondered what it could be as she sat down for a late dinner. Use the round one packet capture in this folder to learn more about her assignment and answer the following question. What is the zip code of the address where agent CC is to make her grab? So if we open up this PCAP file, if we just double click on it, it's going to open up in Wireshark. I'm going to start scrolling through it. start to see some IRC internet relay chat okay you see some text here so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the IRC Oops. if you right click on it and say follow stream actually follow through the conversation. You see the actual private message going back and forth. And it's a problem with like RC, it's in clear text. And if you look right here, I mean it looks like it could be encrypted or something, but it actually with the equal sign that means it's base 64 encoded. So if we just we can copy that, we go back to the lab folder. We have a base 64 encoder decoder. Let's paste it in there, fill out the decode, and here you go, here's your decoded text. And the zip code is 99901. So let's take a look at the same file inside the network miner. The nice thing about this program, if there was files or images, it automatically extract those for you. Um, same thing you did with the messages. Uh, we start looking at the messages. So this is dog for another mission for you and here's that the uh, base 64 encoded text so it's pretty simple it makes it really quick to get to anything that you're looking for in a PCAP file if there's credentials if there was it'd be here if there are clear text credentials So this concludes uh, part one of the Network Forensics PCAP Analysis Lab. Okay, this is uh, part two of the Network Forensics uh, PCAP Analysis Lab. So this one we're going to look at Evidence 02. Take a look at the scenario. After locating and capturing her target, Agent CC returns to her hideout and waits for instructions. Use a round two PCAP or packet capture in this folder to learn more about her assignment and answer the following question. What is a safe house location code name? So let's open this up in uh, Wireshark. 
we'll start scrolling through here looking at some stuff and right off the bat we see SIP which is the session initiation protocol which is typically used in uh, voice over IP I mean, it even tells you it's trying then it's ringing Let's scroll down here some more Now we have a lot of RTP traffic, which is a real-time transfer protocol, which is typically used in VoIP. So Wireshark has a nice little tool for that. If you just click on telephony, RTP, and show all streams, and it shows you the streams. So this is pretty much, this is one-way traffic, and then this is another one-way traffic. So we click on this first one, and we click Analyze, and then you can just click Player, and click Decode, and just click Play. Agent CC, I have detained Dr. Clearwater and brought him to the Golden Alley Safe House. So you notice that right there, that's the other person talking back. Yes, G-O-L-D-E-N-A-L-L-E-Y. Okay, we'll close that out. We got the answer. Now we'll, look at, we'll listen to this one too though. Same thing, player, decode. All the silence right now is the, the conversation on the other end. Copy Agent CC. Can you spell that, please? Very good, Agent CC. For your next assignment, we'll require you to recover information from the suspect's computer. Okay, so you see how that easy that is, just using Wireshark, you know, to analyze a VoIP phone call that's been captured. And this concludes part two of the Network Forensics and PCAP Analysis Lab.